Today is a showdown in Parliament. The Inspector General of Police, Lieutenant General Kale Kaihura, has sounded a warning to take on people who will honor the invitation of legislators to occupy the parliamentary gallery to witness the passing of the oil bill. Parliament is a sacred institution. So I'm, I'm, I'm alerting my friends who, who are on the radios, please. They should not disturb parliament. Parliament is a serious business. They are discussing the laws. There is a procedure. Do they have to go on the radio? Why do you have to go on the radio? I don't know. Godba. Who is Godba? It's a accord. I think we are investigating that, that, that NGO. The legislators are not taking Kaihura's statements lightly and have sounded a warning to the IGP to be cautious in exercising his mandate or else risk being looked at as a violator of human rights. I hope he allows our people, he doesn't infringe on their rights to come and observe what members of parliament are doing. And this has nothing to do with uh, the law and order. Legislators have also put the Speaker of Parliament, Rebecca Kadaga, on notice to exercise her cautious and avoid taking sides or succumbing to political pressure. Minus members, she's irrelevant, but we hope that she goes by her conscience. And as a human being, the spirit is willing, sometimes the body is weak. Yes, the Speaker was under political pressure, the Speaker was a prisoner. She was in captivity. She was a prisoner because, you know, this is a bill, the, the, the proceedings have been chaired by the Deputy Speaker. The first time the Speaker came in, she was not the usual Speaker. The legislators are also perturbed by threats issued by the IGP to investigate NGOs in the country. He accused of funding legislators to cause political unrest, saying the IGP has no powers at all to interfere with parliamentary business with NGOs. Uh, ACCORD has done no harm. ACCORD is not the first time he's working with parliament, not only in the oil bills. We have worked with ACCORD on corruption matters. Why hasn't General Kaihula come to question what ACCORD is involved, what ACCORD is doing? As long as we have a common interest in a matter. So the, in fact, I had all along thought the IGP had credible sources of information. But if he's relying on such, then as a country we are in trouble. Timothy Sbassi, Biastar Vision, Parliament.